Hello, in this video, I want to show you how to send PayPal payment without confirming your South Africa phone number or Lesotho or Iceland phone number. So in this video, I want to show you how to bypass through this uh, phone confirmation app. So recently, after the PayPal updates, a lot of us here in Nigeria are required to to confirm a phone number in a country that we set up a PayPal account with because they want to make sure that any person that is uh, using a country, any country per account are actually located in that country. So for us Nigerians, uh, Nigeria people account can only send payments, cannot receive payments. So we actually set up a people account in other foreign countries that is eligible to receive payments and send payments. For example, Lesotho in this case, or South Africa, or Iceland, or Morocco, or any country uh, you set up your country account with. So after this paper update, Anytime you want to, anytime you create a new paper account and you want to send out payments, paper will try to confirm the phone number of that uh, content paper account. So in this case, Lesotho. So if so, if you create a, a new Lesotho paper account and you want to send out payments, paper will require you to enter a Lesotho phone number and uh, confirm and get the code and confirm it. So in this case, if you don't have a Lesotho phone number and we see and you have received. A payment inside that your paper account, your your money uh, will, will be stopped inside the paper account. So in this video, I want to show you how to bypass through this uh, phone confirmation app. So this is not going to be any illegal thing. This is just an option that people have provided by themselves, and uh, still can um, to learn how to do it the correct way. So it is better to learn exactly how to do it the correct way. So if you don't have a Lesotho phone number or South Africa phone number or any other foreign paper accounts that you set up your paper account at and you want to send payments and paper need you to confirm that phone number before you can send payments, just follow this step by step that I'm going to show you now and you will be able to send out the money without actually confirming your phone number. This is going to this is, is a, a real method and uh, this option is and this option paper provided is by, by themselves. So in order to make this happen, what we are going to do is we are going to use the invoice route. How can this happen? How does this work? So the way this invoice payment works is that, for example, now if I want to send ten dollars to another person's paper account, be the person located in any country, and I have ten dollars right now, I have uh, zero point four forty one cents cents inside my paper account. So. And in this case, I want to send ten dollars to another person's paper account, and I don't have a Lesotho and I don't have a Lesotho phone number. So the, the the method I am going to use, which is invoice, is I need to just uh, tell the receiver that he's going to receive my payment to log into his paper account and create invoice. Go to the invoice section, create invoice, enter my enter my paper email address. I send the person my paper email. He enter it. Enter the amount, enter the item name, and create invoice. I just log in and uh, go to the invoice session and make this payment. And when making this payment, people are not telling me to confirm any code. They will, people will say, pay this invoice, sell, sell from a balance. Boom, you complete the invoice. You complete the payment, and the money will be transferred to the receiver's paper account. So it is very simple to do. What I need to do is, for example, now if I if I tell the receiver of my payment. To log into his paper account and create invoice of ten dollars using my paper email what the person will do is that right now as you can see i have logged into my south africa business paper so right now what i need to do is for example we are using this in case now i have told the person to create invoice of ten dollars so the person will log into his paper account like this and come to this i can see actions here now then create an invoice so here the person will enter my paper email address so for example let me enter so as you can see right now after the person enter my email address he come here and enter the item name for example let me use a service and uh, the person just go down and enter the amount let me enter like ten dollars and uh, here again and here the person will click consent 
So this invoice will be created from his or her PayPal account, and I will receive this email. That is, I and I will receive this uh, invoice creation notification email uh, to the email address associated associated to my PayPal account. And what I need to do is, I need to just log in here. Come come to the invoice session here no i come to the activity payment activity i can see here i can see activity i need to click on it or i scroll down and uh, as you can see here under payments you will see new invoice uh, or here as you can see here uh, let me show you you can see here notifications uh, under notification you can see you have one of on paid invoice i need to click on it and pay the invoice i just come to the activity and uh, uh, from from this activity, I click on all transactions and I can view the invoice and pay it. So this is how to do it. So for example, if I click on activity, I will locate the invoice which I need to pay. So uh, so right now, so right now, if I received any invoice from any customer or from any person. Under the activity session is where I will see that invoice and then pay the invoice like this invoice now as you can see bill form we go here uh, paid paid uh, because payments I can see payments uh, completed one dollar and the bill form is a uh, one dollar and uh, I have paid this invoice that I received and uh, the money has been transferred to that uh, paper account that sent me this invoice so for example now if i go back to home and go to the notification session we will then see that i have uh, one notification uh, talking about invoice this invoice is invoice that i sent out not actually invoice that someone sent me so it is show me here as you can see uh, let me actually show you right now so as you can see here so as you can see here you have one unpaid invoice paper invoicing so you can see here see reminders once i click on show more you will see that bill to this email address which is 20 dollars that i sent to as an invoice and uh, this i have to do that so once the person that i want to receive paper payment send you an invoice you just log into a paper account and pay the invoice when you want to pay the invoice paper will not require you to confirm any Lesotho phone number or south african phone number or island phone number so, so just select the invoice from the activity session you will click on it you, you click on you, you will see pay now by at the top right you click on it paper will paper will tell you to select option either from your paper balance or from the card linked inside your paper account so you for, for example you select paper balance and click on pay and the paper and the payment will be processed without requiring you to enter any phone number or confirm any sort of uh, to south africa uh, item phone number so that's how to send payments from Nigeria to um, to someone without confirming any any sort of phone numbers. So if you enjoyed this uh, method, kindly give this video a like and subscribe to the channel right now and uh, hit the bell notification icon so that anytime I release my future video like this relating to paper, relating to how to make money online, you will get any question about that. So I make you from Network Telecom. Have a nice ahead. Bye.